everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I got a new laptop. I did, I got a new laptop. This is the MiniBook Pro. It's pretty cool. And uh, no, I have not converted to Apple. <laughs> I know some of you know that I'm a IBM user, a Droid user only. I don't have any Apple products. I don't have any Apple products anywhere in my house. So it's kind of humorous when this shows up at my door and uh, sitting on my kitchen counter and my kids were looking at it and they were like, Dad, you got a, you got an Apple? <laughs> like, no, this is, this, is, this is a magic trick, right? But it does look pretty good, like as far as graphics goes and uh, the, just the way it's all packaged. It kind of does look like it would be an Apple product, right? So this is MiniBook Pro from Noel Corner and Roddy McGee, and you can find this at tricktrickboom.com. So it's Noel and Roddy's new joint effort uh, that they have together. And uh, yeah, head on down to tricktrickboom.com and check it out. So what is MiniBook Pro? Um, I wanna kind of walk you through the entire routine. It'd be, it, even if I think you watch the trailer, there's, it, it kind of happens kind of fast and it's coming at you, right? I wanna just kind of like break it down for you just so you can ex understand like what this whole routine is, okay? So in the routine, you kind of start with nothing but a deck of cards, okay? And you're gonna tell your spectator to uh, go out to a website and check out the latest um, laptop, okay? So they're gonna go to their, their own website on their own phone, right? So nothing tricky from you. You tell them exactly what .com to go to. It's gonna bring up a little laptop site. And there's a picture of the laptop spinning right there in the center, just like you would if it was any promotion for a laptop. And you'll be able to, with your finger, take their phone in front of them and slide the laptop out. The laptop vanishes from their phone and now it's in your hand, a little tiny metal laptop that you can open and they can see a screen and there's a keyboard and they get a little, little laugh out of it. And you, and you admit, you say, you know what? This laptop doesn't really do much other than find your card. So you're gonna put the laptop on the table. It's a little prop, right? Uh, shuffle up the cards, have them select a card. They select it, they're gonna sign it Okay, put it back into the deck, mix it up. Then you do a little any card at any number, or you could do a little ambitious card. You can say, hey, you know, your card's gonna jump to the top, or your card's gonna be six from the top, whatever. And you're gonna wave your hand and snap, do your little deal, show the card and go ta-da, and they're gonna say, that's not my card. That's not your card. Nope. So you know what? I probably need to, probably need to reset the, the laptop, okay? but without touching it, you kind of just point to it, which makes them look at it. And as they re-look at it, they realize that that laptop now is a folded card and they pick it up. And even though it has the graphics of the laptop, they're able to unfold it and it is their signed card. Pretty cool. And when you tune into Magic Orthodoxy for a magic review, I'm gonna show you packaging and I'm gonna show you what you get inside the box I want you to know exactly what you get for your $45. So 45 bucks, you'll get the gimmick and you'll get the refill cards, okay? You're gonna have these little cards that when folded look like the MiniBook Pro, but then when you open it up, it looks like the playing card. Um, if you wanna know if you can get refills, yes, you can get refills. So for $15, you can get 56 card forces. Now they're all different cards. They're not all gonna be the same card, which means you can do this card trick again for somebody else, right? And it would be a different card. So that's really good right, you know, right there. I'm not gonna show you the force cards. I'm just gonna have you imagine what they look like, but I will show you the laptop. So inside you get this tiny little laptop and instead of using like the Apple logo, obviously, there's a little spade logo with a bite taken out of it and it has hinges, okay, has a bottom and it's just really two pieces of, of metal that have a little hinge. So there's a little decal that has the keyboard, another little decal that has the, the, the wallpaper with the icons at the bottom, and you have a little track mouse right there. There's even some 
uh, indentations as far as power button goes in the speakers. So it sits in your hand like that. It's a nice little prop. And, and no one's going to be fooled, right? No one's going to think, oh, that's, you know, really a laptop. And they're all going to know, right, when they see it, that, that it's a little prop. It's meant to look like a little prop. It, but, you know, where it came from, when, when it first initially appears outside of their phone, and it magically appears as a laptop that you can hold as a three-dimensional object, and it's disappeared from their phone, that in itself is a pretty cool trick as a first trick, right, as an opener. So you immediately have a hook. And they're going to watch you take this laptop and put it on the table. And then uh, later, this little innocent laptop becomes a folded playing card. So that's pretty cool. All right, so is it what I thought? Um, I didn't really know what to think because um, I didn't know of the trick until the trick arrived in the mail. So uh, Trick Trick Boom asked me if I would review the trick. I said yes, and I didn't... Um, I didn't taint my experience by watching the trailer first. I allowed it to show up in the mail, sight unseen, so that I could have fresh eyes and see it for the first time. And I, I opened the package and I was like, oh, it's a little laptop, but I really didn't know how it was gonna go. And then I watched the trailer for the first time. But then after having watched the trailer, then yes, it was easy enough to follow because at the end of the day, it's a card reveal. Really, that is what it is. There's lots of different versions of the card reveal out there where a magician uh, forces a card and then reveals that card in some place. So maybe it's in an orange or behind a pane of glass, right? This is, this is card to an impossible location. And in this instance, the impossible location is a little mini laptop. Is it well made? I mean, you did see it, right? The product itself, yeah, I think would last you forever. In fact, they're even gonna do a uh, little workshop at the end of the, um, explanation video where they talk about care and maintenance. So yeah, as, I think your laptop will last forever as long as you take good care of it. And then like I was saying, you can always get replacements of the force cards. So yeah, you're good. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video is almost three hours long. Yep. So another creator who understands <laughs> video is free. <laughs> if you can keep those cameras rolling there, you can, you can give your customer a lot of material, and that's really what um, Noel and Roddy do. They go over the top to give you um, the necessary teaching. And I will go through the teaching. I will tell you exactly what they, what they teach you in those three hours, but I will tell you something else, all right? After having looked at the props and understanding what they were, I started the tutorial and I watched the two performances. So they have two live performances at the very beginning. When I watched the first performance, I was watching it as the spectator was watching it and just going along for the ride. The second performance, I was watching the, perf the performer. I was watching the magician, watching his hand movements and seeing what he was doing. And you know what? By the end of the second performance, I knew exactly how to do the trick. So what I will say is this. If you can force a card and fold a card, you can do this trick. Okay? I think you know what I'm talking about. So. <laughs> So if you can force a card and do the Mercury card fold, then this trick is, is gonna be completely in your wheelhouse. Everything else beyond that is misdirection and patter, right? You're gonna develop your routine, have a moment of misdirection, and, and you're good. So within the three hours, like I said, there's two live performances. There's an intro. They'll talk about what's in the box. They'll give you a little bit of background behind this trick and where it came from. They'll do a little orientation where they, where they compare the laptop prop with the card when it's folded. So they'll show you side by side what they look like and they'll go through some features of that. Then they're gonna give you their thoughts about doing um, digital tricks, you know, doing, doing the trick at the very beginning where, where you're using a cell phone. What, what are the thoughts behind that? You know, there's a lot of magicians now that either gravitate towards uh, technology tricks or shy away from them. They're gonna talk about how to pull the laptop from the screen, and they're gonna give you resources so that you can do this same effect without the internet. So if you were gonna say, well, what if I don't have the internet available to me? They're gonna give you PowerPoint for Android or Keynote for Apple. They'll give you slides, and they'll teach you how to do this with slides, and they will teach you how to customize those slides for yourself should you wish to. Then you're gonna walk through uh, Noel's performance and presentation and his explanation. Roddy's performance and explanation, 
They'll walk you through an unsigned version, should you wish to have a card that you know, doesn't get signed. They'll talk to you about how to prepare the cards for the Mercury card fold. They'll talk about how to do this um, for beginners who still need a little training wheels. Then they'll talk about misdirection, and then there's some commentary on the performances. So they'll watch the performances again, give you some on-screen uh, commentary. Then they're gonna cover slights, then they're gonna cover forcing, and then repairing. Pocket space, it's really just the little mini laptop prop and your deck of cards. You're gonna put one force card into your deck. That's it. So it's gonna take up zero space, really. And it literally could be an extra card so that once that card goes away, you don't need it anymore and you could go into a card routine. And the best thing is that card now becomes a souvenir. It's folded like a little laptop. They can retell the story because that's what you want with the spectator to be able to retell the story to their friends of this is what happened. And this laptop came out of my phone and then turned into my signed card. Like what a great souvenir, right? What a great story for them to tell. Angles wise, there's barely any angles in this, right? The way they've developed this trick is so clean because like I said, your angles are going to be you forcing the card, a little bit of misdirection and, and, the, and the mercury card fold and that's it. So there really isn't any hard, like unforgiving angles to this trick. Plus, as far as inspectability goes, you're going to leave them with the card. And yes, they could, I mean, they're going to see the laptop at the beginning. They're going to know that laptop was not a card before. So yeah. Uh, slice and difficulty level we already talked about. Force a card, do the Mercury card fold. Really, that's it. And they're gonna and they're gonna talk all about misdirection in the tutorial. So they'll they'll, they'll talk to you all about that. Um, I believe one of them wears a dinner jacket when they do the trick, just so that you have fast and easy pockets for ditching. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't say it's needed. I think you could do this without a dinner, dinner jacket for sure. Um, set up and reset. You're gonna put a brand new. Uh, force card in your deck and you're good to go. So you could keep your force, you could give us keep a stack of force cards in an additional pocket somewhere and then you'll be ready to walk to your next table or, or, or do walk around. This is a great trick for walk around and table hopping. Positives. Um, this trick combines a lot of classic effects I think into one. You know, th this is the item being pulled from the screen, right? You get that trick. You're getting the um, card to impossible location, you're getting that trick, and you're allowing them to keep the object so they have a souvenir. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, many, so many great touch points on this, I think, are great. I think the only negative to this is it's a consumable product, right? You really can't do this trick without the refills, right? So, and I don't think the trick is as strong without the signature. This trick is always gonna be, the, their signature on a folded card on the table that looks like a laptop is immensely stronger than without. So you're definitely going to want to do it with a signature, I think, for sure. So the only negative then becomes I need to continue to buy refills. So even if you think you might like this trick, maybe you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I could, I'll spend the 45 bucks and get the trick. I think it's worth it to add the refills to cart at the same time. Don't wait until you run out, right? Make sure that you have those refills so that just in case one day you're not looking for refills going, does anybody have refills? If you think that you would do this trick, if this trick speaks to you, then yes, definitely get the refills at the same time. Is it worth your money? 45 bucks, yeah. That's a really, I, I've seen decks of cards for $45. So here you're getting a little mini laptop, plus you're getting the force cards, plus three hours of teaching from Noel Quarter and Roddy McGee. So tons of teaching. So totally, totally worth your money. I think it's, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, mini book pro. You can find it at tricktrickboom.com. And uh, you could also find it wherever quality magic tricks are sold. I wanna thank Roddy and Noel for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.